everybody welcome back to another gg anglers episode today we're going to be fishing for some keeper fish hopefully we can take some home but we are not in our home waters we are here at the packery jetties yep we made the long three hour drive it was a long night but we finally made it we got some live shrimp we got all the rods we got the spikes super rough today well it's all right it's just super windy and and the water is super choppy but I'm sure we can still catch some fish. The boys down here have been killing it lately. Eric, Ray, everyone out here limits every single day. So that's what we came to do. But of course the day we come is bad. It's just gonna be a grind. We're gonna try to fight through this wind and that rough water and hopefully catch our limits. All right, see you guys on the water. All right guys, we're gonna get our stuff set up. The water looks really nice. Like I said, it's very choppy, but I think we could still catch some fish here. It's just gonna be hard to land. Oh no, our, our net is broken. <laughs> our net is officially done. All right, we got some dead shrimp and some live shrimp that we can work with. We're gonna toss out some dead first and then some live. We're gonna grab a dead shrimp real quick. They're all nasty. Ugh. Man, y'all already know what we're doing. We got the outcast cork. I don't know how they fish down here for sheep's head, but we're gonna do what we know. Hopefully we don't get snagged. Guys, fishing for sheeps is, you gotta be patient. You gotta, you gotta know that you're gonna get snagged. You gotta come out here with a lot of tackle. A lot of hooks, a lot of split shots, weights. Gotta come here prepared. It's not as rough as I thought it would be. But I think it's gonna get rough as the day goes on. So we're switching rigs, we're switching over to a knocker rig. I'm gonna grab a dead shrimp. The dead shrimps are nasty though. They are not fresh dead. These have been dead for like three days already. That's nasty. What was it? Huh? Definitely. It's full of dolphins. There we go. Switched over to the knocker rig. This might be a red. God. As soon as I switched over to the knocker rig, I hook up. I'm gonna have to move. Gotta get him over these rocks. It's probably a big red, dude. I got 20 pound test. Come 
Come on, Chris. Come on, Chris. Head first. Head first. Bro, that drum fought like that. A nice black drum. We're going to measure him right now, see if he's a keeper or not. But, oh, he fought like a red, bro. That's crazy. Why? Why was he fighting so hard? I see a mixed breed, red and black drum. For real. Thank God we are not skunked. We're going to try to catch more fish. We're aiming for those sheep's head. That was on dead shrimp on the knocker rig. I was just texting Eric that we weren't getting bites, and he said to switch over to the knocker rig. And just like that, first cast. He is 27, 26 and a half. Guys, we're just double checking. It is 30 inches max. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this fish. Subscribe. Yo, check out what Chris just caught. What is this? Let us know what it is down in the comments. I think it's a gag grouper. A lizard? First sheep said, finally the targeted species. He looks a little small, we're gonna measure him. This is what we were looking for right here. Sheep said, we're gonna measure him real quick. They're definitely starting to bite more. Let's see. This fish ended up being 14 inches, so we released it. Alright guys, we just got here to South Packery Channel and as you can see, it is way better here. Everyone's catching and we found, our, we found ourselves a good spot. So we're gonna start casting out real quick and hopefully catch some fish. We at least want two, one or two limits. So let's do it. Chris is already feeling bites or what? Not yet? Alright, let's get it. Let's hurry up and catch our limit. Fish. It's a big old mullet by yours. I'm on. Gone? Yeah, yeah, I'm over you. There you go. I'm on, guys. First fish, let's go. It's a good one. It popped off, dude. It's so good, it's so good. I lost that one, but it's all right because they're biting like crazy. They're super aggressive. Come on. Almost instant. You got it, bro? There's a rope right here they said you can use. Grab that rope. Came off? Oh my god. Second one there comes off. This is crazy. This is our luck. This one feels better. You ready? Come on. Man, he's right here, bro. I can't see. Oh, wait, wait for the wave, wait for the wave. I'm in it. Wait for it, wait for it. It's coming, it's coming. There we go. Let's go. Landed. What happened, bro? Oh, 
There we go. Give me a heart attack, hood. Y'all check out that giant sheep's head. This one's definitely over 20. But we're gonna put it in the cooler real quick. Try to catch some more because everybody's just catching it. There you go. Yep, I have another one. Ah, it's a solid one. 15, 16 inches. Yeah. Flip that one. I flipped that one. <laughs> Let's see how big he is. Fifteen and a half. Yeah, he broke off. Fifteen and a half, y'all. Second keeper, come on. Yeah, he jumped That's Maybe, maybe. Another wave. Let's go. Yes, sir. Check that out. Ooh. Super cool fish. That's our third one. We need two more for our limit. One. Chris is on. Can you flip him? Uh, I think I can. There you go. Woo. Another solid fish. Yes, sir. Chris with his first one. Yep. First keeper for Chris. We're having a field day. Since we can't catch fish in Galveston. Like I'm back in elementary school. Dude. For real. Since we can't catch fish in Galveston or Freeport, we just came over here. You're on? Nice. Oh, yep. Chris on a nice one. That's a good one, bro. Aww. Dang. Chris on another good one. You might be able to flip that one. Nice. I got it. Hey, I'll take care of it. Woo, Chris, cool. Go. Limit on limit. The bite is on fire here. I, this is insane. We gotta try to catch as many as we can with one hook. They stole it. They're really good. They're the best bait stealers. That's a good one. Ooh, that's a good one. Yep. Take him left.
That's a good one, dude. There you go. Let's go. You good, bro? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one right there. Another 20 plus. Very good one. Look at that. Nice. I think I need one more. You want a net, bro? He's fat. He's a fat one. Maybe what? Nah, it 100% is, bro. 16, 17. Somebody called a I just got my limit. Good thing this guy's a keeper because he swallowed the hook and he's bleeding. That's for sure a keeper right there. That's five for me. One, two, three, four, five. Chris needs three more. He's about to get it right now for sure. 100%. I just got my limit of sheep set. As you can see, this one swallowed the hook, but he's definitely a keeper. Chris is trying to get his three. There, he's on. He's on. That's crazy. Little guy, little guy, little guy. Little guy. Chris just caught it. Uh -oh. Man, the net got stuck, dude. Everyone's catching fish. Chris just caught this small one. Chris needs three more, but he's about to get them because you can see everybody's boat up here landing fish. I just got my five over there. And then we're gonna probably go look for some other fish later, but right now, gotta get that, those other three. We never get to fish like this, so this is super fun for us. Even though it's packed, but it don't matter. Chris with another one. Take him, take him easy, bro. You're good. Come on, come on. You got him, you got him. You got it, bro. Nice. That's a good one. Loosen it, loosen it a little bit. There you go, bring him in. With the waves, bring him in. I'm gonna bring him to the track, Kev. Where he at? Got him. Nice. Oh, that's big. Now that was a struggle to land, but we got him. That's a solid one, bro. Chris with a PV right there. PV, bro. That's a PV. You need two more, bro. You need two more. Come on. This thing is like freaking three pounds. Show the camera, bro. Insane. Wow. Sal de uvas pico. Come on, Chris. Cool. Limit. Limit. Come on. That looks better. That looks better. Let me get the net. We're going to land this one. That looks better. Come on. Limit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. That's a keeper. Go. Yes, sir. You, did it. you just have to move spots, bro. We had a we had a maybe slow one hour and a half. And soon as we move, move, move soon move. as we move spots, yep. started biting again. We moved 10 feet to the left and they were there. Yep. Let's go. Alright guys, we finally got our limit. Check that out. 10 nice sheep that we're gonna put him inside the ice chest. And we're probably gonna go grab some lunch and then hit up the other jetties and see if we can catch some big bull reds, jacks, whatever is out there. We got the big rods ready. Super happy, super excited. I'm glad this trip was worth it. Check that out. We're gonna eat good. All right, guys, that is it for today. We really appreciate you watching this episode. If you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. We will have another video later this week. 
The fishing has been insane lately and it's just the beginning of the spring fishing season. We had lots of fun this trip. So many fish were caught. I wish we lived closer to Corpus and we would be there every single day if we could. But it's all right. We are back home fishing Galveston, Freeport, all of our home waters. So stay tuned for those videos and jack season is almost here. Oh, let's go. Careful with the hooks. Yeah, yeah.